What's up, everyone? Ultimate DJ's here with another Star Trek Fleet Command Arc Fall update. Breaking news, everybody. Tons of information coming your way. Buckle up. Here we go. December 2021. First, as usual, we go into the officers and introduce you to two new rares and one new epic because we don't use the color green on officers anymore. It's gross. It's the color people describe themselves as when they're nauseous or want to throw up. Green is yucky. Thank you, Scopely, for not making me look at green officers anymore. Mm. Here we go. Martok is first the captain's ability. Woot woot, everybody. Increasing kinetic weapons damage by 50%. Of course, this is to base, so... Ah, yeah. Synergy is going to get it to 70%, so, you know, yay, that's cool. Uh, so it's right on pace with the power of an Exocom ish kind of interesting to note it is the synergy group though Kittimer's revenge which is the same as honor guard wharf so wharf is now able to get a little synergy bonus from these guys but wharf also isn't known for his captain's ability either but uh, the possibility exists if you're looking for that the interesting piece of this officer is his officer ability whoa 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 increasing the ship's dodge by 200 percent of total crew defense this is mitigation baby Notice it doesn't specify PvP or PvE, so it's good across the board. And 200% is tier one out of the box. Not too shabby, but look how he tears up all the way up to 1400% at tier five. Dang, that's big uh, for a rare. That's huge. Think of it if you have like, say, 25,000 defense stats, and now you can increase your dodge, which is increasing your mitigation if an explorer were coming at you with accuracy buffs. This is a 350,000 mitigation buff to, to dodge. That's pretty not shabby and very, very useful in the right situations. For example, when going against the triangle in combat or busting a triangle buster officer like Kang. Kind of nice, 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 nice. Uh, look at his ranks. You can see his shard count there, badge total, and the Klingon credits required to upgrade. So nothing really crazy here. Actually, pretty daggone good officer ability for a rare. Uh, next up, we have Galron, and look at those beady eyes. Uh, they actually did pretty good with the art on this one. <laughs> I kind of dig it. Look, look at his captain's maneuver name, Glorious Gaze. <laughs> very, very clever, Scopes. Uh, he's taking those golf ball size eyes and just gazing into the depths of your soul right there. Oh, uh, man, good stuff. Captain's Maneuver, same as Martok, except with energy weapons, same synergy group, same synergy bonuses. Meh. Officer ability, though, also the same as Martok, but with shield deflection, giving you extra defense against a Marcus or a battleship by chance. And he's using health stats. Both of these officer abilities are bomb diggity in the right situations if you have the stats for them. Looking again at his shard account, again, very, very similar. Now, a third officer, an epic officer, but remember our faction, but not a faction hint, that kind of thing. This guy is Grush, and he's an epic and a new synergy group called Syndicate. The Orion Syndicate, to be precise, everybody. And looking at his captain's maneuver, Kind of nice. More protected cargo, never a bad thing. And in the captain's seat, so kind of reminiscent of Joaquin from Khan's crew. Synergy bonus up to 50% later if we get more officers. Right now, he's the only one. Uh, so he's limited to a 100% boost to protected cargo. Not too shabby out of the box. And his officer ability, very interesting. And clearly a nod to some of you pushing your progression into deeper space, be it G4 for the new 40s or G5 for the new 50s. His officer ability can increase warp range of the ship by 6% at base, tearing up to 15% at tier five. Folks, this is kind of a new Cadet Scotty. Finally, yay! Looking at his shard count. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that shard count for an epic. Cheap, cheap, cheap in shard count. The lowest priced epic of all time. But he does take independent credits. So what's the catch here on Grush? Why so few shards? We will tell you soon. But I'll drop you a nugget uh, to make you ponder on for a minute or two. I will tell you that he will not be available in an auction. Nor an SMS format this month. So DJs, how do we get Grush? Well, let me tease you with one more juicy tidbit. He will be free for all, all the way to tier five. It might take you a little while, but he's 100% free to play. 
details are coming soon. Wait. Wait, you want them now? You want the details right now? Fine, fine, fine. I'll tell you. Jeez, impatience. i uh, tell you what. Let's go into our uh, in-depth reporter. From the field, Ultimate DJ's throwing it live to a field reporter. Ultimate DJ's, what can you tell us about Crush? Uh, thank you, Ultimate DJ's. I am Ultimate DJ's reporting live from the space field somewhere down the street from you in J Jefferson County. These guys are scaring me. These guys are making me real nervous. Look at that. Look at that. Them beady eyes staring into my soul right there. And the, the ship of the dead hanging out over there. It's kind of creepy looking. All right. Uh, listen, let me uh, let me tell you. Let me introduce you to the new faction that uh, Ultimate DJs teased back in the studio a second ago. The Orion Syndicate. Except it's not really a faction. I mean, it is, kind of, but not the way we're used to. See, with other factions, we have ships. We have reputation. We have a store. The Orions aren't quite like that. See, they probably are most similar to the Outlaws and the Augments in that you can't go back down. You can only gain positive rep, but it's not called rep either. It's called Syndicate XP. And since it's not called rep, we should be able to buy it. <laughs> uh, you can, but you can also grind it out completely 100% free to play starting on day one. And I like that. What will it get you? Well, this is the first time Scoopley has ever made an entire faction tree available to us on day one. Let's take a peek behind the green Orion curtain, shall we? Let's dive right in. Let me find my little button here. There we go. All right. Checking out stfc.space. Thank you so much, Criminal Rip. Let's come on down here to a new entry you're going to see on the website called Syndicate. Ooh, let's check it out. All right, so the way this is going to work, guys, it's a syndicate tree, all right? You got XP. You look here. You're going to be earning syndicate XP through events, through battle pass rewards, through uh, in-app purchases. If you want to do it that way, you can buy this stuff, all right? You can see the amount, 17,000, 11,000, 25,000, level 6. There's 25 levels, and it goes all the way up to an astounding 1.2 million at level 25, okay? Let's take a look at uh, some of the stuff that we get along the way. Now, how this is going to work as you accumulate this XP, you are going to cross over levels in the Orion tree, the Syndicate tree. When, uh, whenever you claim the bundle, let's say that we get 2,500. When we claim that and unlock level two, then we get everything contained within level two. All right. And some of these are going to be just straight up gifts. Some of them are going to be buffs like this. OK, resource production. Some of them are going to be uh, actual like buffs that we're going to get. And those buffs are going to scale by ops, which is really cool. So we were talking about Exocomps a while back, making sure that they had something that they could scale upwards on. All right. So, for example, right here at level two, we're going to hook up at 2500 XP. We're going to hook up with 10 Grush Shards and a 10 percent resource uh, resource production, meaning that our generator are going to go so much faster. Yay! Uh, but it goes faster depending on the ops. 10 uh, through 19 is 10%, all the way up to 25% at the upper end of the scale, plus 10% resource protection against rating. So more vault stuff. Yay! Some of these levels are going to be kind of cool, okay? Honestly, some of them not so cool, all right? How are you going to earn this XP? Well, I already told you, some events and things like that, but... Just by getting the first one unlocked, one single XP, you are now going to get a daily gift bundle of Syndicate XP. This is really cool, folks. This is the grindable on day one. Every single day, they're going to give you XP. You can buy more. You can earn more. You can do stuff to get more. All right. But you're going to get a minimum amount every single day, and that's going to progress you through this tree. Take a look at level three. Oh, by the way, we talked about Grush, right? Look, there's 10 Grush shards right there. Okay, level three, extra warp speed. Okay, not bad, but again, it's a very early level, and that's getting all the way up to 20% at the higher levels, which those guys are liking that because of the deep space warp timers, and a little bit of a boost to resource mining because I definitely need to go out and mine 7 billion steel. That's going to happen, so we can do that right here. Again, obviously geared probably towards some of the younger level players, but it's a low level uh, level three here in the tree. Level four, an officer preset. That's what it's going to take, 11,000 XP, and you get your first officer preset. Plus, we get a boost 
to the amount of Syndicate XP we're going to get every single day. Then uh, some piercing stats here, okay? Whoa, look at that, 25%. Again, to base, not huge, but, I mean, that's a permanent buff. Guys, once you get this, it's like a research, like a hidden research. Once you get it, you have it, you don't lose it, it doesn't expire, it's not an exocomp, you just get it. Plus, uh, on top of the 2% piercing, you get 3% mitigation, all right? And again, scaling up. Level 5, we get a frame, yay! And 15 more Grush Shards, that puts us at 25. Now, don't forget, Grush only costs 50 to unlock. Plus, check this out, one daily Grush Shard. Coming along with your Syndicate XP bundle, we are now going to get one extra Epic Shard every single day. Level 5 looks decent, guys, because here you're also getting Gas Ore and Crystal Mining buffs up to 15%. Now, those are small in comparison, but they're added to everything else you have, so not too awful terrible right there. Level 6, uh, back to the warehouses and the vaults, blah, 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 but, uh, and more resource mining, so I'm going to count this one out. Boo! Level 6. Level 7, uh-oh, 25 more Grush Shards, and that is the full unlock. 34,000 XP, folks. That's where you unlock this epic Tier 1 Officer, plus boost to protected cargo and cargo capacity. I like level 7. Coming down here to level 8, uh, this blah, okay, resource, mining, protection, all that stuff. Check this one out, folks. Level 8, bonus daily goal rewards two times resources folks this is going to change your daily bundles all right uh the uh, rewards in the daily goals and their milestones are going to be increased by two times all right that's double the resource payout in your dailies we've been asking about daily modification for a long time well here it is may not be a whole lot but again this is going to continue to go up we're only on level eight of 25. level nine another officer preset more xp more warp speed more piercing more mitigation okay very good level 10 another chunk of 25 grush shards plus more to material mining three percent and that's again at the level 10 you're 41 you're getting 20 percent out of this one and that's on top of the one that you got way on back up here where was it let's find it right here all right if you're a 41 there was another 10 percent. so now you're at 30 percent out of this orion tree okay uh and then check this out another bonus daily goal modifier to frequency modulators and <coughs> hairball mark twos and they are increased by one and a half times increase now the verbiage is interesting here the other one said that it was increased by 2x. I kind of wonder if that means that it's actually going to be triple. Like the increase is two times what it was before. One plus the sum of bonuses, right? One plus two equals three, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see how it actually pans out. But here is another one. One plus 1.5 could be a two and a half times increased payout to modulators and Mark II. So I like that one. More warp speed, more protected cargo, more capacity. Uh, let's continue on. 50 more Grush Shards which I think we're getting close to a tier up uh, here before too off long, plus another preset, more protected cargo and scrapping speeds. Ooh, look at that G4 and G5 scrapping speeds. Now, now again, not huge, but every little bit counts at the game of nickel and dimes. Ain't that right, Gregor? All right, level 13, we're only halfway there. Another 40 grush shards, more material mining bonuses and three times the resources now. And, and by the way, if my math holds, this is an increase by another 300% on top of the 200% from before. I don't know. Ripper may say, oh, that's so wrong. We'll find out together at level 13, all right? More Syndicate XP, more cargo capacity. Now we're starting to get into some defensive platform bonus. Scrapping more and more and more. Guys, this goes on 25 levels. I'm, gonna just, go, I'm just going to go slow here for you, okay? Uh, ooh, look. Oh, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Level 15, faction credit and reputation rewards increased by 125%. <laughs> more rep, more rep, more rep. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. All right. Uh, let's go down and see if uh, we can find anything else. Oh, whole health points, shield health points. That's good. They're at level 17 plus another preset. Uh, more shards, piercing, mitigation, scrapping. Four times the resources. You know what? I'm, I'm starting to wonder if it's just going up by like another 1x. Ripper, <laughs> it's surely not going to go up by 12x by the time this is all said and done. 
Is it the sum of bonuses? It feels like it should be the sum of bonuses. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how great it would be? We got the 4X and the 3X and the 2X. I mean, that's like multiplying by two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, nine. That's big, right? We'll have to see. I, I'm kind of excited about this. I ain't going to lie. This has been a long time coming. Long time coming. All right, down here, more officer health, more officer stats here at level 19. More shards, another preset, more rep, ship XP, which is a nice new one. All right, so that's cool. More shards, a frame, yay. Uh, more stats here, another preset, ship XP, repair speeds, more reputation. Folks, I can't tell you. This is key right here, reputation. And guys, listen, obviously, this is not a quick expansion. All right, 1.2 million uh, Syndicate XP. Listen, I got to be honest with you. I fully expect this tree to take 6 to 12 months. I have no idea what the rate of acquisition is going to be, but I can promise you this was not designed to be done in a month. It's going to be a very, very uh, long-term thing, probably 6 to 10, maybe 12 months. There's 80 more Grush Shards. And finally, folks, right here, to cap you out, 1.2 million XP, level 25 is where it is done. The last 150 Grush Shards, and I'm here to tell you, once you get this point right here, if I'm not mistaken, you add up all and do all the math, plus your daily Grush Shard, I am pretty sure you are pretty daggone close to a max. More health points, more shield health points. And look, these are not small numbers at these higher levels either. Plus another faction bonus right here and another multi-purpose exocomp spot here at level 25 plus another frame. Yay for frames. All right, so that's very, very cool. Now, another thing that we have coming this month is new research. Absolutely. We got new research. Let's see if we can find it. Switching on over here. It's going to be in the territory tree. 21 new nodes, five of them available starting at level 25, the other 16 starting at level 40. Let's take a look. Here's one right here. Covariant shield. This is obviously one of the four uh, G4 stuff one. Uh, G4 player ones right here, adding to shield here. Let's pop this open right here. Increasing shield health for all G4 ships and above. This is key because a lot of research before only affected G4. So G5 player, uh, players get a little bit of a benefit there. Uh, unyielding combatant direct hit. Those are new ones. Uh, let's see. There was another one that I saw here. I got notes. I got the notes. Uh, ooh, this one right here. Cloaking beacon. This one unlocks at level 30 and increases the chance of identifying enemy cloaked attackers. So you can actually lower that 66%. All right. But don't worry because the other players can do cloaking wavelengths and increase your chance to remain anonymous. <laughs> That's hilarious. And check this out. At level five, it's a 30% bonus. It's already 66%. You can have a 96% if nobody has the other research done. So... Ooh, that should be fun. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is a really good one here. Let me go to the next page. How about this one, G4, G5 players? All right, you know, we're not, not even. Everybody is going to love this one. Full impulse ahead. All right, ops level 35, it unlocks. It's a 10-level research, adding two to your impulse. Even at level one, not big, but scroll through here. There's four and six and eight and all the way up to level 44 to max it out. Bonus 20. To impulse, massive folks, absolutely massive. Uh, here, to, let's see. There was another one. Uh, exalted ships. Where was this one? Exalted ships, right here. This is extra ship XP. All right, so that's kind of cool. Unlocks at level forty-two and gives you bonus XP right there, all the way up. You could do this one all the way up to level fifty-one with a one hundred percent XP bonus uh, for ship type. That's a good one. Uh, exalted. Where was exalted? Oh, that was the one we just read. Let's see. What was it on? Oh, Expeditious Repair for G4. Repair speed. All right. Well, G4 or higher, level 40 or higher. Guys, this is the big one. I want to show you this. Actually, there's two big ones. Let me show you this one. Warp Coil Enhancement. Unlocks at level 25. It's a 10-level research and a 3% bonus to warp speed. This is nice, especially if you're warping lots of places like in deep space right there. Some of the, uh, uh, the big level players. All right, 40% boost to warp speed. And now, introducing the biggest one. I've only got three minutes left in my field report. I have to throw it back to the studio. Um, <laughs> I, whew, okay, let me get my deep breath here before I tell you, all of you Vidar hunters, that I'm crushing your soul. Introducing Meridian Fortification. Folks, this one is 
probably the most significant research on the board. It starts at level 25 and it caps out at level 34, meaning for anybody higher than level 34, and you look down here, it's very cheap, very cheap in particles, very cheap in dilithium. <sighs> I'm here to tell you that this is a base number uh, modifier and this is going to change hunting meridians. Bubba Joe, I kind of feel like this one was for players like you and, and Handy and Big Country and some of you folks <laughs> that complained about the Meridian cargo capacity or the protected cargo being a little bit too low. Folks, this is very, very significant. Let me show you something here real quick, all right? Uh, just going to go super, super quick. If we look at the Meridian, okay, and let's just max it out. Let's pretend that you are completely maxed out all the way up here, tier nine, okay? Right here, the base cargo protected is 9,000, and then when you tier it, you're gonna get, let me find it, where is it? Ripper, 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 ripper. I'm not gonna find it. I thought it was actually 10,600. Uh, let's not take the range out, let's go to nine. I really thought that this was supposed to be higher. Uh, right here, 9,000. Wasn't there another spot here somewhere? Okay. Oh, here we go. Cargo, cargo. This is what I wanted to see. Right here, 10,600. Whew, that took me a second. <laughs> All right, at tier nine, level 45, this thing completely maxed out. It's got a max cargo base of 10,600. Well, folks, if we take that base of six, uh, 10,600, and we come back all the way over here to this one, and we add 10,000 to it at level 10. What's our new base? The new base is 20,600. So let's do a little bit of quick math here. I got one minute left. This is verified, by the way. It's going to literally double your output. It was 10,006 before. Now you get 10,000 bonus, even with research and officers. So let's just assume for a second you got 250% protected cargo research already. Like, let, let's pretend that that's what you've got. All right. Let's assume for some of you younger players that you got a tier three to bring. Let's assume that you've got a tier three Joaquin, the green augment officer, right? He's captain's ability is protected cargo. And um, so it doesn't even matter what tier he is. And how about a tier one DuPont? All right. Because that's been a tough officer to get. Uh, by the way, three of 11 would work in here. OK, as well. But uh, the, the Borg to bring her officer building. So let's let's assume tier three to bring a Joaquin and a tier one DuPont. All right. That's 50 percent, 50 percent, 150 percent. I also said let's assume 250 uh, percent through all your research. That's a total then of 500 percent. We're going to take the 10,600. We're going to add 10,000. Now it's 20,600. One plus the sum of your bonuses. You're going to multiply it by six your protected cargo and your meridian, even in that small research case and small officer case, is now 123,000 cargo protected. In the case of a maxed to bring, a maxed DuPont, and even a tier one, three of 11, that's 300% times three officers. Plus, if your research is only 250%, maybe it's 300%, maybe it's 400%. Let's do it 250%. We're gonna take the 20,600 base, multiply it by one plus 1,150%. That is protected cargo on a maxed meridian of 200 and 57,000. This is by far the most impactful research in the territory tree, and I fully expect players to take a full advantage of this. Vidar hunters are going to have to wait a little bit longer, and Meridian owners are singing praises of joy for the Christmas season. Happy, 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 happy. Back to you in the studio, DJs. Well, thank you so much, Ultimate DJs. That was a great street report. Appreciate that. Uh, folks, <laughs> now that you've seen the tree and some of the research, some of the really, really cool stuff that is coming, let's dive into one of the items that we actually did touch on, crew loadouts. Sadly, this is not exactly what I'd hoped it would be. I told you I was pretty pumped if crew loadouts would have lower decks. But alas, it's just bridge crew. But there is a place to load up to nine different presets. Eight are unlocked for free within that Orion tree, and one of them can be paid if you want an extra one right up front and early. Just save your bridge crews and name it and move on. If an officer is not available, it won't fill the slot. 
uh, if the officer is in your station, but maybe sitting on another ship, but it's not damaged and it's, you know, just sitting there, then the preset will pull the officer from that ship. So that's not too awful bad, but that nab it. I wanted lower decks. Um, let's talk about something that is good news all the way around, and that's more news on available cloaks. Scopely has promised to continue rolling these into the faction store, and this month is no exception. Uh, now you have access to cloaking shards for G3, rares, and epics in your faction store. And the Enterprise cloak is there. That's the level 34 Enterprise, because it's a G3 epic. So that's the Burrell Gladius Augur D4 and the Federation Enterprise. What are they going to cost? I bet it's stupid. I bet it's stupid amounts of faction credits. Well, the rare could be. I don't know. <laughs> but the epic actually only costs 46,200 faction credits, which, crazy enough, is less than I actually expected. Still a healthy chunk of faction credits. Uh, but don't forget, the epics do also take more Tetrions, too at 40 apiece, so you're going to get fewer cloaks per day with the bigger ships, but doing that big daily should be a lot easier, or using this ship in legitimate pay, uh, PvP may now actually be a little bit more fun. We are also launching two new cloaks this month, and while Bubba Joe desperately wanted it to be a Vidar, <laughs> hairball, it's not. They are the ISS Jellyfish and the Klingon Ship of the Dead, the Sarcophagus. Now, let's do the obvious one first. The Sarco, the Slothagus. Oh my God, this ship may possibly now actually have a very, very, very good use. We already knew it was powerful as all get out, but slow as anything. And it's only good when attacking or defending a capture node. Uh, during a takeover. In space, it's horrid. So that's why this expensive paperweight never took off. It could not get to the nodes during a takeover. But folks, now imagine cloaking before you enter the system, sneaking up on a node, using the proper clue and with the with a, a crew and with the cloak and the damage bonus and hitting the node. We already know these things have stupid damage multipliers and can hit ships way above its weight class. And now it can sneak up on someone. Guys, I kind of feel like this could be a game changer for the Sarko. Probably should have held the Sarko from last Christmas till now with this ability, but you know, sadly. Uh, this feature, uh, this cloaking skin, alas, will not be earnable, at least not this month. For folks wanting to take their dead Klingon warriors into battle, there will be a paid pack to unlock this skin. Same for the ISS Jellyfish skin, too. Packs available to get it, and we'll have to see if this one pans out. It's a percentage damage boost, but it is base, so hopefully it's a decent number and that it stacks on top of the Jelly's already awesome ship ability for PvE. We'll have to tinker with this one, see how it goes once uh, once it comes out. Shout out to No One Shell, fellow content creator, to his epic hint writing skills, hinted that a third something is coming. <laughs> and yes, so we seem to be wrapped up on the second something's worth of cues. Why not start a third one? Third researcher is coming <laughs> i can just i can see it now big country here in about 20 months we're gonna have like seventh researcher it's coming uh it's only available to those who have unlocked second researcher so gee i wonder what could be coming next uh there you go that's the meat and potatoes of this arc right here folks couple of fun items to note last month's territory capture event was not the big bang we all hoped it would be so scopely made a couple of tweaks and we're gonna see it again but well We'll release a video on this when it comes, but suffice to say, server-wide participation is going to be required for everyone to get their payouts. And dropping your own territory and planting a pin, that ain't going to cut it. Uh, we're going to tell you more about it coming up soon. I ain't going to lie. I do actually kind of like the tweaks that they made. This one may actually work out better and get some folks bashing on ships. We shall see. Badges are back in the Battle Pass after a very, very dry November. With regards to badges, we have them back in Milestone 20 of the free track of the Battle Pass, plus three more badges in the 18th Milestone of the Paid Battle Pass. So doubling up on those badges this month if you are an Elite Battle Pass holder. Four days of ticketed events are in front of us, and you'll get 10 free tickets uh, in the uh, free track at Milestones 4 and 8, and then 20 more tickets in Milestone 12. That covers you for four days of ticketed events, one free event for, uh, for each of those days. But paid Battle Pass holders actually get a bonus 20 tickets in the Elite Track as well this month. So uh, speaking of Battle Pass rewards, also players will be awarded enough shards for a complete unlock 
of Rare Galron in the Elite track of the Battle Pass this month when you wrap that thing up. So that's nice to see that kind of uh, officer sourcing coming back as well. Also, speaking of Battle Pass, introducing a new Away Team's Assignment Battle Pass event. So do not get caught with your furry pants down. There will come, not on a schedule, an Away Team's Assignment Battle Pass event for Battle Pass points. You know, the things you want to do 100% of to get to the overflow event. So I may suggest that you save up a few speed ups in case you've had bad luck with ATA draws uh, that day so you can finish this event. I don't know anything else more about it. Could be easy. It may suck. I have no idea other than it's coming. So prepare yourself for that. Auctions this month. Yes, we have two. One power auction with XP and one for material spend. But... If Grush is available only in the Orion Tree and there's no other epic officers, who could we be auctioning? Perhaps since we're fighting in territory capture and, you know, getting a cloak for the ISS jellyfish, then perhaps, maybe, possibly, Terran officers could be involved. I don't know. Just saying. Uh, we have so much more to tell you about, but alas, it must wait until tomorrow. This video is packed enough, and I fully expect you to stop, rewind, playback, stop, rewind, screenshot, playback, and then do that a bunch of times today. We appreciate your patronage. Uh, <laughs> be sure to share with your team as well. There's so much good info in here. Don't forget to visit our friends over at stfc.space, and a very, very special thank you and credit to Ripper for all the data we were able to come up with here for our presentation to you. And tell me, folks, what do you think of Duality Part 3? Leave your comments in the section below. Be sure to subscribe while you're here we just gave away 5,000 materials like a week or two ago our next goal is 10,000 so it could be a little bit of a long road but maybe not you share this with enough people and they smash that button could be a big giveaway very soon be sure to click on the bell so you know when we publish our event guide video sometime in the next day or so and give us a big old thumbs up to likey like this video uh plus hey how about this is new join our club hit that member button below to get your name listed on the end of our videos and turn your name gold in our discord we spank you for your support uh also please don't forget as we approach the holiday season we have a few things happening in our charitable give back to the community so please visit our discord for information on how you can nominate a family in need this Christmas. Talking Trek will choose a family whose children may have a slightly better Christmas than they otherwise would have when Santa DJs gets done. Details in our Discord. And find that Discord by navigating our website at TalkingTrekSTFC.com where you can also get your holiday merch. So much new stuff. Buy it now. Get DJ's pajamas. <laughs> yeah, we have those. Check it all out at TalkingTrekSTFC.com. Click merch. That's it, folks. I'm your friendly neighborhood cat person right here. Ultimate DJ saying meow for now. Love you, mean it. Time to go. See you next time. Meow. Bye.